Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Very interesting. Whoa. Oh. 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 Hey, explorers. Did you know that if you put Mentos into soda, it explodes? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Ooh. Whoa. Wait, who's calling me in the middle of my experiment? Hey, Hayden, what's up? You seem a little upset. I've been preparing for the school science fair all year, but since school was canceled, the science fair was called off. Oh, I'm sorry, Hayden. I wish there was something I could do to help. Oh, oh wait, I can. I'm right in the middle of my soda experiments right now, and you could do them too if your parents are okay with that. Awesome! What's the first experiment? Soda explosion! Soda is full of carbon dioxide. That's what makes all those tiny little bubbles. Is that what tickles my nose when I drink it? <laughs> yep. When you shake a bottle of soda, it releases more carbon dioxide, which makes more bubbles. But the Mentos helps the soda make carbon dioxide even faster than normal. That's way too fast. Look out! All right, explorers, which soda, Mountain Dew, 7-Up, orange soda, Diet Coke will produce the most carbon dioxide when we put a Mentos into it? Well, there's only one way to find out. Experiment! Oh, whoa. Okay, that's a little tiny baby one. All right, guys, next up, 7-Up. Whoa, this was pretty big. Okay, that was pretty awesome, 7-Up. And next up, orange soda. Oh. <laughs> okay, so not very high, orange soda, okay. Next up is Diet Coke. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we have a clear winner of which soda gave us the most carbon dioxide, and it was Diet Coke, because that was extremely <laughs> far. Oh, my gosh. But what are you going to do with all those empty soda bottles? Hmm. Oh, another experiment. Uh, BRB. Hayden, look out. It's a tornado. Ah! Oh my gosh! Look! Whoa! Cool! A baby tornado! <laughs> I know, right? But it's more like a baby vortex, but still. Super cool, right? What's a vortex? A vortex is a type of motion that causes liquids and gases to travel in spirals. And vortexes are all around us. That's what happens when the water drains from the kitchen sink, a bathtub, or even the toilet. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this mini vortex, this baby vortex. Look at it. I want one. Oh, you want one? Well, you're in luck because they're super easy to make. Check it out. Two soda bottles, duct tape, a bottle of water, and a washer if you have it. First, fill one of your bottles with water. Then place the washer on top. Next, take your empty bottle and duct tape it to the top. Give it a light spin and flip it over. Ta-da! Baby Vortex. But wait, there's more. Check this out. Look, oh, you can add glitter, soap, or foam beads to make your own personalized baby vortex at home. Check this out. Oh, so pretty! Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Marmar, why do all the foam beads float to the top of the water? Excellent observation, Hayden. They float because of buoyancy. 
Buoyancy is something's ability to float on a liquid. For example, the balloon is lighter than the water, so it floats. But drop a heavy object into the water and it sinks like a rock. Oh, so the lighter something is, the more buoyancy it has? Exactly! And I have another cool experiment to help you remember it. Introducing my da -da 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 submarine! Check out my submarine. Here we go. Wow. It sinks like a real submarine. And then it floated to the top. That's because when it's filled with air, it's lighter and it has more buoyancy, so it floats. And when it's filled with water, it sinks. Get it? Can you show me how to make my own? You're gonna need a water bottle. We can use the same one from the last experiment. Three crazy straws, duct tape, a push pin, three rubber bands, scissors, and three stacks of six coins. First, use your scissors to make three small holes in the bottom of your water bottle. One at both ends and one in the middle. The holes will let water into the bottle, which is what makes it sink. Next, take your three straws and duct tape them together. Make sure that the ends touch before you duct tape them together. Make sure one of your ends is the flexible end. Next, place the flexible end of your straw into the water bottle and duct tape it so no water can get out. Explorers, this is important. Make sure you duct tape the straw on the opposite end of the holes. I'll explain why in a bit. Next, take your three stacks of six coins and tape them together, just like this. These are gonna give our submarine weight, which will also help it sink. Now use your three rubber bands to attach them to the water bottle on the same side of the holes. And that's how you make a submarine. I can't wait to play with this. But you know what the coolest thing about a submarine is? It can take you on all sorts of cool adventures if you use your imagination. Let's go. Explorers. Welcome to the bottom of Lake Marmar. There's all types of cool creatures down here too. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, look, it's an eel. Ooh, oh, look, it's a dolphin. Did you know dolphins are great swimmers, but they breathe air, so when they're diving deeper and swimming, they're actually holding their breath just like you and me. Oh, yeah. Um, explorers, uh, I think we're being followed. Oh, what was that? <gasps> ah! Oh, wait, <laughs> that's just a crab. Crabs aren't scary. I think our imaginations are getting the best of us. It's time to return to dry land. Thanks, Marmar. For what, Hayden? This was way better than the science fair. Now I know a bunch of things to teach my friends. Nice! And thank you so much for coming along on my science adventure. I'm gonna call my youth and teach them all about soda explosions, vortexes, and buoyancy. Bye, Marmar! Bye, Hayden! Have fun! I hope you learned a lot today. Whew! All that science sure made me thirsty. Ah. <sighs> oh, man! Explorers. A lot of fun things have been put on hold because of coronavirus. But we could actually use our imagination and learn about a lot of fun things right here inside our homes. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!